Hey you guys, welcome to Comi Vlogs. Here I am with another video. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna be using a little over a pound of ground chuck. Like I always say in my videos, you guys use the meat that you guys like. If you like ground unicorn, ground hamster, it's up to you. All right, you guys are gonna need some mashed potatoes. Is it better homemade? Of course it is. But it's 5.30 in the morning. Do you seriously think I'm going to be boiling potatoes, peeling potatoes right now? <laughs> no. No. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. So your girl is going to be using instant mashed potatoes. What? Don't make that face. <laughs> I'll knock you out. You're obviously going to need some masa. I, I gluten free. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Uh, for all of you asking why do I need masa, you'll figure that out. You'll see. Puta madre. <laughs> I'm not even going to re-record that shit. Oh my god. So you will see in a minute why you need the maseca. Alright? Okay. Alright, and you're going to need oil. Like I said, oil of your choice. A lot of it because we're about to clog our arteries. We're about to put our blood pressure hasta arriba. I'm just kidding. Okay, maybe I'm not kidding because it is going to be deep fried. Alright, don't judge me. Mind your business, okay? You're going to need oil of your choice. Alright, people. So here, what I have is the meat in a pan. I already seasoned it. You already know with the seasonings I always use. I will post a picture later. But it's just adobo, garlic powder, salt. So I'm just gonna mix it. As y'all can see, I already have uh, casserola with some water for the mashed potatoes, and I'm just gonna be mixing this. Oh yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna. Wait, what am I gonna do here? Okay, so the water's ready, and I I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to it. Add it to your taste. If you like the comida salada, tú échale, tú échale, aunque te critique la gente. And just remember, though, your meat is going to be seasoned. Well, I hope it's going to be seasoned, but mine is. So I didn't add a lot of salt. I don't measure the mashed potatoes because I'm just a chingona like that. And go ahead and stir it. Now remember, this isn't going to be your normal, normal mashed potatoes. This is going to be for empanadas, so don't add butter, don't add... Actually, y'all can add whatever you like. I don't add any of that. I just season it. Uh, who am I to tell you what to add and what not to add? So if y'all want to add sour cream, cream cheese, cheese, you go ahead, baby. Go ahead. This is your dish. Can't forget the garlic powder. Y'all know I love me my garlic powder. I think I'll let you un poquito Oh, well can never go wrong with garlic powder and you just mix it keep on mixing keep on mixing dang they smell so good these are the mashed potatoes that my brother Julian shout out to you hippo that he likes he likes to pick up his mashed potatoes with the fork and look at that hey I didn't even have to add no more water oh shoot I forgot to add comino to the meat so yeah but yeah y'all see como quedo mm, perfect all right, so I'm gonna mix the meat a little bit more. Do 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 do. El venado, el venado. Que no me digan en la esquina, el venado. Porque como que... Wait, that's not how it goes, never mind. Let's go ahead, ha, go ahead. It's too early for this, dude, seriously. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook probably for about 10 more minutes till it gets brown. Okay, see ya. All right, I'm back. So, because I'm not adding any salsa to this because it is almost 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, shoot, un palito. That's from the chile before y'all start judging me. Um, I added a handful of chile de árbol in there. Para que pique. Para que pique, para que pique mucho, para que no pique mucho. So, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on stirring this. I did not take the seeds out, obviously. Who takes seeds out of the chile? I mean, obviously, si quieres que pique, you're going to let the seeds be in there. Oh, no. I mean, because what the heck? Like, you're going to want it spicy, but take the seeds out? Nah. All right. So, here it is. 
a little bit more brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chiles out because I already tasted it and the meat is spicy. But it's so good. It is full of flavor, you guys. I just love my cooking, you guys. And then I wonder why I'm big. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío! All right, so I'm just gonna take these babies out. Ooh, let me take the seeds out. A little bit more spicy. Ya se les está haciendo agua la boca? Sí, verdad? Don't lie, don't lie. Y'all are probably looking at that. Oh my God, that looks so good. Dang, Isela. Dang, she can cook good. That's why she's so big. So my pan is already heating up and I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil into there. I remember, don't be stingy with the oil. Echale, echale, mija, echale más, echale más. Tú echale que tienes Medicaid. Actually, no, I don't. Tú echale. There you go. Because remember, you're going to be making empanadas. And if you're judging me, eso era para ti. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I'm just going to stir this. A mí, para mi gusto, le falta un poquito que se dore más. Uh, no de chile. Push that baby. Get the flavors out. And then I'm gonna take the chili out. Yep, there you go. Push it out, stir it a little bit more. This looks like it's about done. What do you think? I think it's about done. And then you see, oh my gosh, I love this meat because normally like ground beef, it has chingo y aceite, like a lot of fat, and this one it does it just like really, really little, like Almost like where you don't even have to drain anything out. All right, you guys. So it looks like we're done here and we're ready to get this party started. So I'm going to mix the beef in with the mashed potatoes. You guys, it's up to you how much beef you guys want to add. If you guys are not that, you know, si no son tan carnívoros, pues no le echen tanto. Me, I'm like a T-Rex. Me encanta la carne. And I got short ones. Anyways, so I think I'm going to add maybe all of it. No. Yep. Yeah, I am. <laughs> all right, so mix this. And you see why I prefer it, you know, like not clumpy, of course. What is that called? Thick. Just like me. I, the mashed potatoes, I prefer it to be very, very thick. Because remember, we are going to be filling up a tortilla. And I feel like if it's like mas aguado, it's gonna be coming out of your tortilla and stuff out of your empanada should I say so oops so you see that's how I prefer it but like I said cada quien con su gusto ya tengo mi masa alright so aquí ya hice la tortilla I already made a tortilla and now we're gonna add the filling don't be stingy you guys well Actually, do whatever you want. You want to namas and barrenda, but oh. by mi gusto, I like to fill it up. Just be very careful because your tortilla can tear. Look at that, look how pretty that looks. Oh. God, Isela. Why are you so good at this? I want to thank my mama up in heaven and my grandma up in heaven for making me chingona in the kitchen. For real. Everything I know, I know from them. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, before I get all emotional. You see, it doesn't matter how it comes out. Look, mine came out looking like a croissant. Okay? It doesn't matter the way it comes out, the shape, form. It can look like a rectangle. It can look like a rhombus. It doesn't matter. Look. See? It's sizzling up in there. El chiste es que for you to close it, no matter the shape, no se agüiten. Okay. Put that over. I'm going to make 
make a tortilla. For those of you that do not know, that's how you make a tortilla. Which I also have a video on how to make tortillas. So I'm just gonna get some more and make this one. No, that's too little. I know. Oh, it doesn't come off. Chingo. Just use your hands. My hands are clean. My hands are clean. I washed them. There you go. See, like, this one's not going to be the same. Because, obviously, the more filling, it it's different. It's different. But, like I said, don't pay no mind to the way you roll it. You freaking, you know... As long as it's all covered. Look at that. I don't know what that looks like. A cocoon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright you guys. So I've made a couple more. And I've added two chiles. Para que se toren. Because I did mention before. It's really early. And I'm not going to use the blender right now. Oh my gosh, I totally recommend you adding cheese. <gasps> oh, this one's for me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so good. So good. Well, since this one's for me and I love meat. <laughs> I stuffed this one so much, it's falling apart. Just like my life. <laughs> Oh, everything's coming out just like when you were a faja and all your lonjas come out. All right, you guys. So since this is for my viejo's lonche, I packed it with some yogurt, some fruit, and jello. Because he is gonna eat it for lonche, I could not plate it like I normally would if he would be eating it here at home. You know, with like the lettuce, the sour cream, and all that good stuff. Well, I had set some aside so I can plate them nicely for you and give you an idea of how I normally plate them. But your girl was hungry. I mean, can you blame her? Can you blame her? No, you can't. So, that was my video on how I make empanadas de carne molida with papa. I also make some de pollo with chile verde. So, if you're interested, please, please, please leave a comment below and I will make them. Thank you guys so much for watching my crazy videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys can also click on that little bell and you guys will get notified every time I upload one of my crazy videos. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for believing and call me rocks even when sometimes I don't believe in myself.